What's up, CoinOps fans? This is Pixel Freak from the CoinOps Project Discord server. I had some folks say, hey, uh, Pixel, in your posts on the Discord server on the Legends 3 version 4 Pi build, you said that the 8 bit DO uh, controllers would work in X input. Well, up until now, that was the truth. If they were wired or even if they were wireless, when they had like the Pro uh, controllers, they were working just fine, uh, especially when wired. Uh, the Ultimate Wireless came out. There are multiple different versions in the Ultimate series. I have with me the Ultimate Wireless and the Ultimate Wireless Bluetooth. Uh, they are, uh, they've had a lot of firmware updates since the release, but they're some of my favorite controllers for many reasons. I got other videos about my wireless Bluetooth that I just absolutely love, have modified the buttons. It's great. But when I plug them in, both wired or through the dongle, in X input mode, in the Pi build, I was surprised. And I thought, uh-oh, I need to find out how to make this work because I've been touting how great these controllers are and uh, they weren't out of the box ready. They work for all the PC builds and the Linux builds, but for the Pi build, it seemed like there was something wrong with the drivers. It was just a one-off that wasn't being detected. So I was on the case. I went and found the XPad drivers, okay? It's a, a GitHub, uh, it's GitHub and the user that developed them, Paraj, I guess, P-A-R-O-J, all credit. I am not a developer. I just found this and I'm showing you how to install it into the uh, Legends 3 version 4 Pi build from CoinOps. Again, not a developer, just trying to help out here. So for those of you that uh, have used Belena Etcher to burn the, uh, the image, uh, stay away from Arcade Punks, please. They're just a click-through site. They have nothing to do with development. They are just getting penny clicks. They have nothing to do with coin ops. They have nothing to do really with the retro scene other than just, you know, getting everybody's eyeballs in one spot and getting the, if they don't give you an epileptic seizure, uh, they are just passing the goods through as a, as a collection site and getting their pennies and running off with no support and no help. So uh, figure out how to get it. And once you do, uh, you're going to burn it with Balana Etcher. The Pi build is a completely self-contained build. It's supposed to be like a console on the Pi 4. It's just very simplistic, very minimal menus. You turn it on, you play your games, you have fun. Very portable, you turn it off. Kid-friendly, can't mess things up. So with that, if you want to use Wi-Fi, I'm going to tell you the additional step because a lot of folks don't know about this. you got to create a file, WPA underscore supplicant dot C-O-N-F. Make sure that you can see your extensions in Windows. If you don't know how to do that, Google it. But just any text editor, make this file. Make sure that this, this is not word wrapped. This is the end of the line. Hit enter. It has to have a character turn or, you know, end of line. This is uh, what you need to have in here. And it is case sensitive. Uh, I am in the US. So base that. If you're in a different region, make sure that your Wi-Fi settings are, you know, fixed to what you're doing. Uh, make sure that you have your SSID, again, case sensitive. Your password would go there. Then uh, make this file per character. I mean, exactly the same. Just substitute your specifics into it, all right? Once you have that file, you are going to then go to, as you can see here, once you're done with Belena Etcher, you want to eject it because it's not an accessible drive once it's been burned. Eject it, put it right back into your Windows machine. Don't even put it in the Pi yet. Don't even fire it up yet. Put it back in your Windows machine and you get the boot drive. If it gives you the warning that there's something wrong with it, you need to scan it, just ignore Windows. Say you don't want to. It, it doesn't like stuff with, with uh, Linux formatted stuff on there, okay, or Unix. So get into the boot directory. All right, in here, you're gonna get your comp file that you created, just copy, paste it in here. I've already done so, otherwise it's just gonna say, okay, you won't see it after you do the first restart. It's gonna incorporate the file. Don't worry that it's gone. Just follow these directions, put it in there the first time. It will incorporate the information that you provided in there, okay? With that in mind, I am now going to eject it, but I need to talk to you um, and I want you to, okay, good. I'm going to take this out. I'm going to put this in my Pi. Pardon me while I get closer to the microphone. It's going to get kind of loud. Putting it in the Pi. I have a Pi 400. I like the built-in keyboard. It, it's clocked at a little bit higher uh, speed because it has a built-in heat sink. And it's also really good for arcade cabinets. And they're also, they're easier to get than the Pi 4. Either 2, 4, uh, two, four or 8 gigabyte models. Doesn't matter. But the Pi 4 is excellent. The only thing it doesn't have is the 3.5 millimeter audio out jack. But if you're using HDMI, which most people are, not a problem. It works fantastic. Love it for this purpose. Goes right in my cabinet. 
So I've talked to you about where it comes from, why we're doing this. We're adding these X-pad drivers because the ultimate wireless uh, 8-bit DOE controllers are not working. Everything else should... Uh, but when you need this extra little bit of help to make them work, because again, they're fantastic controllers, I highly recommend them. Uh, you're going to add, this is to get the Wi-Fi. Uh, you've ejected it. Now, I need to warn folks, I'm about to turn this over, okay? And you're now going to see my screen, and I'm going to kick it over. I want you to notice, you need to have about a five-minute rule, okay? You're going to be like Elsa, let it go, just let it go. It needs to do its initial run. There are scripts built in there. It's going to run through once, incorporate all the data it needs to. It's then going to be told to reboot and expand the drive. I used a 64 uh, gigabyte USB 3.1 Samsung Fit drive. They're fairly fast. A lot of folks use SD cards. Try to get a, you know, a faster rated USB 3 and make sure it's in the USB 3 port because not all of them are on the Pi. Make sure it's got that blue. If you're going to use USB, otherwise, uh, with the micro SD, you want to let it expand, do its thing. You'll see it reboot probably twice if you're really paying attention because it boots up once, gets all the info, gets the script, reboots again and expands, and then kicks back over. I'm going to have to switch over to see, pardon my switching here, I'm waiting for it to come back up. And I want to let you know, I have the Ultimate Wireless by 8-Bit Doe. I've got the black version, and it's plugged in in its cradle. The USB uh, dongle is what allows it. There it is. See, it wasn't that long at all. Uh, but let it complete its mission. If you don't wait long enough, you get impatient, you kick it over, and you just restart it, it won't fully have expanded, and you're going to have file errors. It's not going to work for you. You're going you're gonna to have to reimage and start all over again. So don't waste a good half hour being impatient. So... I have the 8-bit Doe Ultimate Wireless, just the 2.4 gigahertz version. It is plugged in, and I'm going to pick it up. It's going to go active. Okay? It gave me the dunk dunk. I'm moving it left, right. It's in X input mode, which you always want your coin op stuff to be in, if at all possible. It's getting nothing. You hear me moving the joystick left and right? Nothing. It's dead. You're like, why? Pixel, this is X input. This should just work. I know. But these need a little bit of help from the X-Pad X -pad driver. So I put it back in its cradle follow what we're going to do here okay it's very easy to do i have putty that is my terminal uh software you can still see in the top right that it's running but i need to connect i've added the wi-fi i am going to uh pull up a command window and i need to ping it why do i need to ping it because i need its ip address in ip version 4 format CoinOps Pi, that's the device name, okay? All right, it's coming up, 192.168.1250. Those of you that are network gurus, you're gonna see that, yeah, I did plug mine into, wire, uh, into Wired, I just, because I know that IP address and my router always remembers it, and for purposes of this video, yeah, I'm using Wired. But I wanted to show folks how to do it wireless as well. Either way, get your IP address, 192.168.1250 on my network, that's important because in PuTTY, that is where I'm going, 192.168.1.250. Port 22, I want to connect, okay? Putty has already been, if you get the pop-up that says, hey, this key is re not recognized, do you want to trust this? Yes, always, okay? Because you're going to get in here a lot. Log in as CoinOps, okay? And the password. Okay, you can't see typing the password. We're in, all right? That's where all that works. Now... I want to let you know this is going to be this text is going to be in the description so you can copy and paste it or you can type this in if you are case sensitive. I want you to know that if you are copying it, it's a control C of course in Windows, but in PuTTY you need to right mouse button. Just click it once. Right mouse button. It is not a control V. That means something else in a terminal window and it will not work. So I right mouse buttoned there. I get the info pasted. Let it go. You need the headers. It's going to take a second. And then it's going to ask you, do you want to continue? Yes, I do want to continue. Why, thank you very much, sir. It takes a little bit, not very long. It's pulling down the headers. It's installing them. Okay, just give it its time. It's running a script. I'm not doing anything. You don't hear the clickety-clack of anything. I'm just waiting for this to finish up so that I can do my next step. You see it's unpacking. Otherwise, here... We're going to clone the software 
from the GitHub site. So I'm going to copy that in preparation while we're waiting for it. Okay. Ah, it's done. I have my terminal back. What do we do? Control V? No, we right mouse button. There it is. That's going to pull down the bits. It's going to then put them. Boom. It's not a lot because it's a very simple driver. And that's no offense to the developer. I couldn't do it. I'm not a developer. I didn't do any of this stuff. But it just pulls it down and then you make it install it. So copied it, right mouse button, enter. You're telling it, do your thing. Install it. Well, you got to make file and then it installs. Okay. Give it just a second. All right. Look, I'm back to, if you notice here, I'm back to my terminal. Therefore, it's done, completed. Well, let's see the progress, okay? I need to switch over so I can see it because I can't see it like you can because I'm recording. I am now pulling the Ultimate Wireless, the same one that I used that was completely non-responsive. I'm picking it up. It connects, vibrates, left is left, right is right, up is up, down is down, okay? We are working. It now has the proper drivers. All the buttons are mapped correctly to defaults. Don't monkey around with anything else. The driver is in. I can tell you once you've done this, you don't have to use the dongle cradle if you don't want to. I've also tested to just take the USB-C cable out, the USB-A to USB-C cable that goes into the dongle. I'm sorry. Well, the dongle's in the cradle. You pull it from the cradle. You put it into the USB-C port directly on the controller as though you're wired. It will now work as, uh, as well. As well, I have also confirmed that it works for the same on the USB port and through the dongle on the Ultimate Wireless Bluetooth. That's the one that I have, that I, that's my primary one that I love. It has the uh, Hall Effect sensor joysticks. It has a longer battery life. It has the built-in uh, motion controls. It hooks up to my Switch. It, it can do everything. It's fantastic. I love it. It's smooth. I even did a video where it shows that I bought the OEM Western style layout buttons because I like PC gaming mostly and I can remember when I play Switch or Wii that uh, A is B and B is A, etc. I can reverse them in my head. I'd rather have it with the, the Western style layout. So, folks, I just want you to understand that's how you get it installed. It's easy to do. It works great. Um, I have not been able to test it on the 8 Do Ultimate Wireless C version, which is the one without the back paddles and doesn't have the mode switching. It's the more basic. I think it's 29 bucks instead of the 49 bucks or the 69 bucks for the Bluetooth. Um, but I would imagine because it uses the same dongle, I would be shocked and amazed if it doesn't also work. Okay, so folks, that's how you uh, use it on the Pi build. It does not, this has nothing to do with the PC or Linux versions. Um, this is only for the Pi. So hope to see you on the Project Discord server and uh, game on.